afternoon and welcome to your local news for Congleton area. Our main stories, diversity at school, local bird national TV and supernatural occurrences in Swetland Mall. And, and di diversity affects us all, but how will it affect our learning at Congleton High School? This is something Annie and Izzy have been investigating. Hi, I'm Annie. Hi, I'm Izzy. We're here to tell you about the changes that have been happening at our school. They're happening to promote diversity and equality. Here to tell us more is the head teacher, Mr Hermit. How are the changes? Help the schools. We believe the changes will really improve the school and bring us into the 21st century in terms of the quality of the buildings that we have for everyone to learn in. If it does work, will you be looking at changing more of the school? Certainly, we've already got plans to change the entire school site so it's all brought up to modern standards and um, we're rolling that out and um, we're really delighted that the main teaching block is the first one that we will be working on and we've secured a grant for 1.2 million from the government and that's making a big difference to us moving forward. How will it help the disabled people? Well, you'll notice that um, we've made some changes specifically to comply with um, legislation for disabled people. Um, when you first approach reception, you will find that the doors will open as um, slidey doors. Um, the receptionist will have a lower counter so people in disabilities could be dealt with. And also we've got disabled toilets very close to the front of school to help disabled users. Shall I start? Please do. Okay, well at the moment it's a little bit of disruption because of scaffolding everywhere, it's quite disruptive, but boy oh boy is it going to be great in the long term because I teach on the top floor and you know what, in the summertime it's like an oven up here, like teaching a great big greenhouse and the windows up here are going to be smaller and better insulated, the room's going to be cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter and therefore all my students will be able to work harder, harder, harder. Fantastic. How good is that? What do you think, Mr Franklin? Well, there's some interesting points you made there, Mr Eaton. Similarly, there's been a bit of a distraction with uh, some of the builders singing some of their favourite songs. Yes. And um, trying to actually, it sounds like they're actually knocking the building down. Yes. But they sound very professional, they yes. look very professional, and they I do. think they're going to do a brilliant job. They are. The building on spec looks fantastic. I'll be mm. very proud of it. Just yes. walking into it yes. will be amazing. Fill me with pride. It will. I'm sure the students, having seen the new building, will be amazed by it and will probably tell all their friends to come to this school too. Absolutely. The reputation will keep on growing in our school thanks to the building work. Fantastic. We look forward to the end of the year. We can't wait, can we? I can't wait. I barely sleep. I think it's so exciting. How will the new build affect the students' learning? Well, the students' learning is going to be affected because you're going to have uh, brand new classrooms. Uh, the classrooms that you're used to on the front, the, all the big windows, they'll be gone so you'll be cutting down on the glare. There's lots and lots of insulation packed in the wall now, so the classrooms will be lovely and warm in the winter and nice and cool in the summer. How will the new build help the students achieve their goals and ambitions? Well, what we're going to have is brand new classrooms and brand new reception areas, and they're going to have a real professional feel so that students will want to achieve. Now we're going to go see the brand new science labs. This is a brand new science lab, brand new tables and gas tap, and it's almost finished. So look around. Brand new equipment. And that's it. Science room. This has been Annie and Izzy reporting for BBC News. Now Luther has been asking Jamie about his TV experience and a special report from Sandra, Jacob and Joseph. Good morning Jamie, how are you today? I'm alright Luther, I'm good yeah. Yeah, now you see you've done some fabulous cooking in Junior Master Chef, but what was your favourite part? Um. One of my favourite parts probably um, had nothing to do with cooking, just making friends with everyone there, because that was really fun. Um, what would you say your favourite dish was then? Um, probably my lasagna. Um, 
I cooked that in the competition and I also love eating it as well. So what else? Like, who would you say is your most competition in the Junior Master Well, probably Tom. Because yeah. he won. <laughs> so um Tom Tom was Tom was the best on the day. But um T J and Josie were also good as well. Yeah. How do you think Junior Master will affect your future, Jamie? Um, I've got more chance of um being on a pro chefs um in cooking terms when they're at their restaurants. Um and also cooking at a high level. Hello, my name is Sander. I'm Jacob. And I'm Josie. We're here to investigate the supernatural occurrences at the Swetnam Arms Hotel. The Swetnam Arms Hotel has been considered a paranormal area. No guests reported the sightings of ghosts. The rumours spread fast. Some people were scared by this, but others were intrigued. In 2006, the Congleton Paranormal Society came to the Swetnam Arms Hotel to investigate the story. They discovered that there was some paranormal activity around the hotel. The Swetnam Arms used to be a nunnery, so some people believe that the ghosts are actually nuns. The said to be is seen walking around the Swetnam Arms Hotel and the garden. The nun that walks around is always sad and the suspected person, Sarah, when she died she was sent down to protect the old nunnery. If any viewers have had experience of the paranormal in the Congleton area, please contact us. This has been the news from Congleton. Thank you for watching.